this is something we talk a lot, a lot about on the show. These sort of brazen burglaries, robberies, really, that are becoming more and more common around the country. You've seen the video. Thieves running into stores, scooping up whatever they want, and running out w without really any fear. It's a huge problem for your safety, the safety of everybody in the stores, the employees, on and on. Speaking of employees, 75-year-old Mary Marino, that's her behind the counter working her job at Circle K. A man approached, reached behind her and grabbed a pack of cigarettes. Mary raises her arm and pushes him away. Seems to be instinctual almost. What really any of us would do in a similar situation. But because of this, Mary is now out of her job. She'd worked at Circle K for 15 plus years. 15 years of dedicated service and they let her go. Circle K says it's because she violated their don't chase and don't confront policy. And that is, quote, for your protection and for the safety of everybody. If this story sounds familiar, it's because it is Circle K's policy. Ross, Walmart, Home Depot, Lululemon all have don't chase policies. And employees get fired for trying to stop a robbery. Here to explain her own words, Mary Marino and her attorney, Iris Halperin. We appreciate both of you being here. Iris, as you look at this, is this more of a self-defense case or a confronting a robber case? It's definitely more of a self-defense case. And I think Mary can talk to you about kind of what happened that night. Um, you know, this wasn't a situation where, you know, she chased uh, Mr. Wimmer out of the store or, or was really trying to stop him from stealing beer, et cetera, something to that effect. She simply was attacked without kind of any norm, like warning ahead of time. And so um, I think she just acted instinctively to try to defend herself, which is kind of a common practice. I mean, you just mentioned a number of stores that have these quote unquote don't chase policies, but the FBI in school shootings, for example, said, sure, you want to run, you want to hide, but if you have no choice, you do need to fight, right? And so yeah. I think there's a distinction between, say, two coworkers who get in a dispute, are escalating it, and then someone says they had to ask in self-defense versus someone who is simply by herself, working in a store late at night, who's getting attacked by someone who ends up getting prosecuted for it. I mean, she is the victim of a crime that's not even been disputed. The district attorney prosecuted the person who attacked her. So um, I think that's a very different situation and is really about self-defense in a, in a situation where anyone, you don't have to wait until you're actually in trouble and getting you know stabbed or shot yeah. at before you try to push someone away. Yeah, Mary, we see you behind the counter, and I know this job meant a lot to you. You've been there for 15 years. This happened a couple of years ago. So um, just take me through uh, what we're seeing on the video. The, the person sort of confronts you and, and says something to you at the cash register, but then t start with us when they come around uh, there at you, what you're thinking, what you're saying. Well, I, I thought he was leaving out the door when he, uh, and there there was a rack next to my register, so you can't really see when they're coming around. Uh, so all of a sudden, I thought he was leaving. All of a sudden, he's there, and I reacted. I, I You know, you're worried about your life. You know, you know he's carrying a hunting knife. It, it, it just, you know, I was really shaken up that night. You know, yeah. I didn't expect him to come around like that. And it was quick. Yeah, I mean, we just see it. It happens in an instant. Uh, uh, did you, had you been through robberies or stick-ups or these sort of strong arm techniques before? No. Wow. God, it must have just been absolutely terrifying. I, I, look, you've been at this store for 15 years. I'm sure there were a lot of customers who knew you, who felt like you were part of their either every day or every week routine. What was it like to get fired? I was devastated. I mean, I'm a widow, for one thing. Uh, I depended on my job, you know, to to live. Uh, and I liked my job. I really did like my job. I liked my customers. My customers liked me. I had customers that would come in to bring me lunch. Some would, because we didn't get lunches or breaks. And they would bring me medicine, if I, uh, aspirin, if I had a headache. Some came in just to talk to me. They were regulars. I, I loved my customers. Yeah, I'm sure they loved you too. Thanks for watching. Go to newsnationnow.com to find News Nation 
on your television provider. And don't forget to subscribe. Click the red button to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.